Opposition parties, civil society groups and religious leaders adopted a plan Sunday for a transitional authority to guide Burkina Faso to elections after a popular uprising forced a long-time president Blaise Compaoré from power. The West African nation is under pressure to quickly return to civilian rule or face possible international sanctions. Joining us in the studio is Lidi Sankara, activist and sister of the assassinated Burkina Faso president, Captain Thomas Sankara. Lidi Sankara, welcome to the program. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so the people took to the street recently to end President Compaoré's 27 years rule. What do you make of this? What do you make of what happened? Mm. First of all, let me thank you and also uh, make a little bit of correction here. Mm -hmm. He's no longer a president, a former president. Yes, former president, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, because giving that uh, fact also, um, <coughs> excuse me, Blaise Compaoré has been in power since 1987. Uh, and then uh, also today, we all know that. Uh, Blaise Compaoré is involved in uh, so many crimes, whether in, Af in Burkina Faso and out of Burkina Faso, in West Africa and above West Africa. So as a young uh, sister of Thomas Sankara and also part of the protesters, I knew that this thing was going to happen because people came out, the protesters came out to express their feeling, uh, also to, uh, to denounce the government of Blaise Compaoré. He... Okay, so then uh, you, you are alleging the crimes of President Blaise Compaoré. When you look at the situation today, uh, we see that there is clear pressure on the military leadership right now to, to quickly return to civilian uh, rule. How do you react to this? Uh, it, it seems like there is a little bit of a certainty. What do you think? Of course, because uh, Zida came from uh, Blaise uh, Compaoré inner circle. And also Zida is, um, is he's a military. I wouldn't say that because my brother was a military. Was a military as well. But yeah, but still, we have seen as a military, he ruled the country for four years. And we, uh, we, we saw what he has done for the country. Within four years, education, infrastructures, so, uh, um, um, even the cost of living went down. So we, you cannot even compare the, uh, the, the 1983 to 1987 government to bless, uh, bless compulsory government. And Zida also, he has to release the power and give it to the civilian because it was not a coup. Yes. It's not a coup peer. Mm -hmm. So, and he knows that. That's yes. why we want him to give the power back to the civilian, to the protesters, the one who asked Blaise to leave the power. He should do that. So then, when you look at the priorities moving forward, uh, you are advocating for this civilian government moving forward. What do you think the focus should be? In economy, education, health, and also infrastructure okay. today in Burkina Faso. Because if the economy is booming, of course, we have jobs. The cost of living will go down. Mm -hmm. The employment rate will go down. Everybody will be happy. That's what we are looking for. Okay. Now that, uh, uh, not to revisit, but let's talk about that, the fact that President Campari, you know, came, former President Campari came into power after the coup that uh, killed your brother. Today, now that he's no longer in power, do you think it's time for closure for the fi family, or is it time for justice? Time for justice. We have not started yet, and we have to go after Blaise Compaoré so he can be able to uh, tell the whole world what happened, what did he do that, and what, what made him think that he should kill as uh, a president who was in power, who was there for the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that was an assassination. Now, when you, look at, when you look at the way the people went on the street, what does it tell you in terms of the power of the people in, in Africa, but just in, in the world, when it comes to the power of the people and, and leadership and, and ruling? Well, that if you overstate, that's the way you should, I mean, that's the result. You overstate after 27, almost three decades, you should not be there. And also what you have done for the country. Come up with something that you have done for the whole country, for the 16 million in Burkina Faso. We cannot even name it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, we can look into it more. Uh, Lidi Sankara, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Have a good day. And that was activist Lidi Sankara. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.